Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. In this session, we're going to look at a building standpipe system. This building standpipe system is referred to as a combination sprinkler and standpipe riser. That meaning that this riser supplies the flow of water to both the building standpipe system and the building automatic sprinkler system. First, we'll look at the standpipe outlet. This building is 12 stories high. This building has a fire pump. The standpipe outlet is a pressure reducing valve. If we look closely at the stem of the valve, there is a clip that has been added to the valve that restricts how far the valve can be opened. What that does is when the standpipe line is flowing, the limitation of opening the valve reduces the downstream pressure or the nozzle pressure under flow conditions. The fire service may choose to remove that clip, allowing full opening the valve putting their own gauge here and controlling the pressure downstream by operating the valve themselves. If we look up the riser, we come across an OS and Y valve. That OS and Y valve is a sectional floor control valve. That OS and Y valve controls the flow of water to the second floor building sprinkler system. That floor control valve in this building is required by code. What that floor control valve does is a couple of things. Number one, it allows the fire department to shut the sprinkler down to that floor while still having water supplied to the standpipe outlet to facilitate overhaul of the fire with the hose line charged from the building standpipe. The other benefit of the floor control valve is post fire, the floor control valve is shut and only the second floor of the building sprinkler system has been shut down. The remaining sprinkler system in the remaining floors stays in service. Another component part of many standpipe systems in buildings is the roof manifold. The water supply to the roof manifold comes from a heated space. This control valve, an OS and Y valve, is normally closed. Opening this control valve will supply water out to the roof manifold. The roof manifold consists of three two and one half inch fire department standpipe outlets. Today we talked about a couple of the components of a typical building standpipe system. We identified a hose outlet with a pressure regulating device. We identified the floor control valve that supplies water to a floor's automatic sprinkler system. And we identified the roof manifold. I'm Paul Dansbach. Thank you for watching this segment of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.